Hey, what's up? It's Ruby. Join with me. Today we have a Bordeaux Left Bank Muli and Madoc 2009. So 2009 is a very good year in Bordeaux. And this is called Chateau Brillet. Brillet means glitter. So the Chateau is a really old one and uh, it has operated for generations. Uh, the same family, I think. Oh, and this is Cru Bourgeois. You, you see the sticker back here? If you see this sticker from any of the Madoc wine, it means it's good stuff. And this Cru Bouchard is uh, awarded year by year. So that means the Chateau needs to be good. The wine needs to be good in uh, consistently to receive that. Uh, okay, this is hard. Oh, oh, tough work. Let's see. Okay, the cork. Oh, pretty busy. 2009 uh, Chateau Brillet and the uh, building Muli and Madoc. Cool. It's pretty dark. It's a vintage year. Alright, let's pour this out. And uh, this is a pretty big winery in the area and uh, one of the top winery in Muli and Madoc in, in that region. Okay, let's see. Uh, color, color, color is brick red but, but dense. Medium dense. The legs is uh, slowly forming. Slowly. Okay, let's see what else it says on the bottle. Um, it's got the building there. Pretty like long building. Ooh, I can see on the bottle already the sand, like kind of like the sediment, uh, kind of accumulated at the bottom because I put it horizontally, so it's sticking there. Interesting. Let's see, silky and voluptuous Chateau Brillet is produced according to traditional methods and the commitment to sustainable winemaking blah 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 so this wine is Merlot with an underlying structure of Cabernet Sauvignon and Petit Verdot so typical uh, Bordeaux blend which I like it is named after the pebbles in the estate's soil, which appear shiny or brilliant as they are worn by the sun. Okay, so brilliant, brilliant glitter. So the the the, the vineyards, the, the chateau has like pebbles, rocks that shines. I guess it, it would be beautiful when the sun is setting and you look over it, reflecting the sunshine. Let's see. Let's smell. Oh, it smells quite sweet. I like it. A little bit, a little bit tobacco, quite fruity, very aro aromatic, very nice on the nose. And it's like black currant, cassis, cassis. You know that great black currant, cassis, those dark berries. It smells very strong of that. You know when you eat um, grape candy, like candy that tastes like purple color grape. It smells like that. Very nice, very nice on the nose. Oh, I can smell this all day long. Huh. Oh. 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 All right, I'm thirsty. Let's try it. Cheers. Oh, Ruby. Oops. <laughs> wow. It's very pleasant to drink already. First impression, kind of <clears throat> smoky and fruity. Little bit of that soil already. And it's it's nice already. It's like a structure. There's lots of layers already. Oh, I'm so impressed. Oh. Um, usually I'm dripping everywhere. Usually for Bordeaux wine, I like to decan it for a few hours. But this is drinking really nice already. 2009, not too vintage, but not too young. It's a good year. That's that's a good year. And it's Cru Bourgeois. So I had high hopes, and I'm not disappointed. Very nice. Okay, let's have more. Okay, it's bold, full body, dry, fine tannin, not too high, very fine, low in acidity, and 
fruity at first, aromatic in the mouth at first, and then some leather smokiness, and then some soil aftertaste already. Quite impressive. Wow, I can't imagine how much more better it will taste like after a few hours of decanting. I kind of don't want to wait. I kind of want to drink. Just keep drinking now. Very nice. Little bit of pencil shavings. But it's short still, it's quite short at the moment. So we will decan it and we will be back in a few hours. BRB! Hey, I'm back! It has been four hours. Let's see how our Chateau Brillette tastes like now. I have decanted it into my big Magnum decanter. And there's actually very little sediments, just very fine dust and sand, nothing really like big chunks of it. Um, which is interesting because it's an older wine, 2009, I'm also expecting bigger chunks. But no! Alright, let's top it up a bit more. Mm, more, more, more! Okay, I was so looking for so thirsty. Brought some cheese. Let's smell. Okay, it smells a bit more on that tobacco smoke thing now. And a little bit of that oak scent. But it's still very fine, very juicy, black currant, dark berry, dark fruit flavor. Wow, so nice. This is the smell of a good wine. All right, can't wait. Cheers. Okay, now it's way longer in the mouth and it's got the layers. So it's first a little bit of fruit, fruity, and then the smoke. Very nice. Tannin is very smooth. And then that oaky chocolate, vanilla, all kicks in. And at the end, it's like soil and mushroom. Very, very nice, guys. Let's have some cheese with it. Yeah, it's quite soil, mushroom now. Lengthy, lengthy, way longer in the mouth. Okay, this is a very strong brie cheese, a French brie, very aged too, like old, old cheese. So it's quite strong. Mm, I think this cheese does not go with this type of wine because the wine itself is very nice already and it's smooth. So the strong flavor of the cheese only makes it taste like nothing. So I'm not going to have cheese with this. I just enjoy it on its own because it's very nice on its own already. Yeah, very nice. But the cheese will be good with a wine that is more acidic and more intense and uh, like like sour, like sour and acidic and high in tannin. Then you would like to have the cheese to balance it out. But this one, no need, no need. All right, very good, very nice. 2009. Chateau Brillette from Mouly en Medoc and it's a Cru Bouchard award. So make sure if you don't know how to tell, look for whether they have a sticker of Cru Bouchard at the back or not. Very good. Cool. Love it. Love it. Mm. All right. Thank you for watching. Drink wine and I'll see you in my next one. Cheers.